Hey guys, we're jumping straight back into the previous video, we're just continuing on. So in this video we're going to be drawing the vector force polygon to scale, and we're going to be finding the total force on the wall from this polygon. So, to solve this problem, we need to draw a vector polygon. So we need to draw in all these forces, and that will allow us to find RW. So we know from the previous video we can find WCS CW. We're not going. To, a lot of the time, we want to know the force on the wall. So we we already know C W just from the previous video. We can calculate that. But we need to find R W. And the way we do that is by drawing this polygon, this vector force polygon to scale. And we can scale off our answer for R W. So let's just see what this diagram will look like. The first thing we have in our diagram is the weight force. We have a weight force going down, and this all has to be to scale. Otherwise, it won't work. So to scale. So we're going to do an example in the next video where you'll see where I actually do this. But for now, we have a weight force coming down. So let's see if we can flip. Okay, so there's W, our weight force. The next force we draw in would be this CS force. So we know we would know the value of that because we have CS up here. So we could draw in CS. Now CS is at an angle of theta to the vertical. Okay? So we could draw in CS, which is at an angle of theta, which is the failure plane, which would, which would either be given to us or we have to assume, and I'm going to talk about that in a second, but it would be at an angle of theta. Now, the next force we could draw in would be CW. So CW is just vertical. So CW would be vertical. 